Hey guys, this has been a really busy week for me. I've been varnishing, sanding, applying anti-skid, helping Brun with, uh, with Princesa do Tej. So it's been non-stop. So over the last week I've been varnishing the goat. And while the horizontal surfaces actually look alright, give or take a few million uh, specks of dust, the vertical surfaces like the transom, well, have a look. I have no words for that. I'm gonna have to sand that down all over again. And now I need to varnish the side panels. And since I suck at varnishing, obviously, I'm gonna try and get all the help I can. So I will make gravity work for me as much as possible. Tangerine flowers. Wind's picking up, not supposed to. Was supposed to be windless today and suddenly just a guest came from I don't know where and now I've got bits of grass all over my varnish, more sanding. And so that was it. We got one gust of wind just to wreck my varnish. <sighs> Brilliant. I guess I have a 10 feet varnish finish. Side's done, turned out quite all right actually, much better than that transom panel, <laughs> which looks horrible. I'll probably still have to sort that out if I have time, because I want to, um, I want to get sailing guys. Anyway, this going back in, I'm going to apply some anti skid on the bottom, probably a couple more coats here and the benches or the seats or whatever, and um, yeah, and that's it. Varnish, varnish, varnish. That's all I've been doing this week. Sanding, varnishing, sanding, varnishing. I just finished the tiller. Well, when I say finish, I mean like two coats done. <laughs> and now I'm gonna start on the dagger board. So you can see the boat now has got like four or five coats in most areas. And now dagger board.
Right, before I apply any further coats of varnish and fix that horrible transom, <laughs> um, I'm going to do some sanding on the inside on the bottom because I want to apply some anti-skid with the varnish. And I've got um, Ample's anti-slip pearls. I'm supposed to mix 50 grams of this on a tin of varnish um, and then just roll it on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. But first, more sanding. <laughs> I'm going to use 320 grit so I can just take the gloss off and then apply the anti-skid. Short hair roller. So that's three really full spoons so far. Should be weighing this, but the scales are at Princesa do Tejo because we were doing some epoxing yesterday. So I'm gonna eyeball it again. And I bet in the end of, by the end of this video, I'm gonna be telling you, don't do this, do it properly. <laughs> this went wrong. <laughs> well. Now I'm gonna wait to see how that finished and dried surface feels. If it's not too abrasive, I will put a strip of maybe a couple of inches just here, one inch from the, the end of the seat, just like that. So let's wait a bit. I still have a lot of varnish to apply, <laughs> but um, before the end of next week, I hope I can start fixing the hairline cracks on the side panels. And until then, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you next week.